Hi everyone, this is Claudine Helmuth and I'm here today to show you how to print and cut my SVG files in Make the Cut. We're going to be working with my Retro Eyeglasses freebie today, but this will work with any of the, my SVGs. There are a couple of little tweaks that we need to do to get the SVGs to print in accurate color, but I'm going to show them to you. You're not going to have any problem with this. So here I am in the Make the Cut program. To get started for a first step for printing and cutting, we're going to need to set our print options. So I'm going to go File, Print Options. And then up pops this little window and I have a few things checked. I want to check Show Paper on the Mat. I want to check Print Registration Marks and I want to check Show Registration Marks on the Mat. And here from this pull down, you can also choose your cutting machine. So if you have a different cutting machine from me, yours will be listed there and you will choose that and then you will press OK. So to import the SVGs, it's really easy. All you're going to do is click on this Import SVG button and I'm going to start with the leopard eyeglasses. I'm just going to click Open and then just place them on my page. And you want to make sure that all of your images and elements are within the dotted line as well as this margin that's in here. It shows my printer over here. Yours may be a slightly different color, but you kind of get the idea it needs to be within that margin. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up the rest of the eyeglasses. You want to get all of your elements into place before we start changing the color. So you can see here that they are this neon green color and that's just the way that make the cut reads my SVGs and it only takes a couple of little tweaks to get them to print in accurate color. So I'm going to show you that in just a couple of seconds. So then you want to make sure not to move any parts independently of each other that you're always clicking on the layer to highlight all of it and then move. So I'm going to go back up here to the leopard eyeglasses and let's correct the color on these and then you'll know what to do for all of the rest. So to do that, I'm going to draw your attention over here on the right to the layers panel. So what we want to do first is I'm just going to work with the leopard eyeglasses to show you those step by step. We're going to click this little plus sign here right next to where it says leopard eyeglasses and that's going to open up all of the layers within the leopard eyeglasses and I'm going to scroll to the bottom where it says image and that's the image layer of the leopard eyeglasses. So now what we want to do is click on that to highlight that and then down here at the bottom you see this plus sign and it's got a little dashed square around it. We're going to click that and that is going to make this layer jump up to a new layer. You can see here it's saying selection to new layer. So I'm going to click that and now that has jumped up to the top. So now it is in its own layer up here above the rest of the eyeglasses. So it's out from underneath the green area. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the image over here of the leopard eyeglasses so that I'm selecting all of the layers below and I'm going to click this set color for all shapes and layer. It looks like a little swatch, a square of swatches. So I'm just going to click that and then I'm going to select white and you can see as I scroll over other colors here it's changing the colors in the eyeglasses and what I want it to be is white. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of the eyeglasses. So now I've finished converting all of the colors and you can see that the eyeglasses are looking in their correct colors. Now just to warn you, they are in preview mode when you see them here and then that's just to keep the program running smoothly. They look a little bit blurry. But when you go to File, Print Preview, you can see here they are nicely colored. Now one more thing, when you click on the Cut Preview, which is this button here with the magnifying glass, you will see that there is a box around all of the images. 
Now in shortcuts a lot, it, the program does not read that box at all. In Silhouette, there's a way to turn that off from cutting, but in Make the Cut, there isn't a way to easily turn it off. So just know that your machine will cut a rectangle around your entire image. And what that is, is the ping image that is underneath the vector lines that tell your machine where to cut. So don't worry about it. It's not going to change the way that your machine cuts, but there will be a few extra cuts around each of your elements for those boxes. So when you are ready, you'll just go File, Print, and you will print out your page. And then you will apply that page to your mat, get it all loaded into your machine, and then you will choose Cut Project With, and you will choose your machine. And then you will follow the regular steps there for printing and cutting. Now, I can't show you those steps here on my machine because I'm using a Silhouette Cameo and I'm on the Beta Mac version of Make the Cut. And currently, right now, there is not a compatible Mac version for the Silhouette machine. So I'm not able to show on video this cutting out, but hopefully this little tutorial will give you an idea how to set up the SVG files so that you can print and cut them and make the cut.